Welcome back guys. Now let's discuss about chromosomal disorders. So in chromosomal disorders, see it's a problem with the chromosomes. Okay, there's a problem with what? Chromosomes. See in chromosomes, for example, like extra chromosome, getting an extra chromosome or loss of one chromosome, something like that. See, first I'm going to discuss about the trisomies. In chromosomal disorders, I just want to first begin with the trisomies. Okay, trisomy. Trisomy means what? Trisomy means getting an extra chromosome. Okay, for example, if I say Down syndrome, the first example of trisomy, Down syndrome. Okay, so in Down syndrome, there is a trisomy 21. Trisomy 20, 21 means what? You are supposed to have two chromosomes, one from the mother and one from the father. 21 chromosome, for example, say in your cells, one chromosome, 21 number chromosome. One should be from father and one should be from mother. What if you get an extra chromosome? Okay, an extra chromosome either from father or mother. Most of the times it will be from the mother. What if you have 321 chromosomes? That is called as a trisomy. Okay, that's called as a trisomy. So what is the cause for this trisomy? Why there are three chromosomes? The reason is number one cause is maternal. Maternal non-disjunction. It's a maternal non-disjunction of chromosome number 21. Maternal means problem from the maternal side. What exactly is the problem? Look, this is the ovum. It was supposed to have 121 chromosome and the sperm, whatever is coming, it was supposed to have, the sperm also should carry. For example, this is the sperm. The sperm also should carry 121 chromosome, 21 chromosome from one from here, one from here. Then if they fuse, that's okay. One from father and one from mother. But what's happening here is the mother is carrying 221 chromosomes. So, 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3. So, trisomy 21. So, the problem is a maternal non-disjunction. In the ova, there is 221 chromosomes because of the process called as a maternal non-disjunction. Okay, during the meiosis. Second cause, this is almost accounts for 95% of the cases. 95% of the cases is the maternal non-disjunction. But in almost 4% of the cases, there is something called as Robert Sonian Translocation. Okay, now Robert Sonian Translocation. So because of this process, almost 4% of the Down syndrome can occur. In 4% of the Down syndrome cases, it is Robert Sonian Translocation which is causing the Down syndrome. Okay, I am not going into the exact details of what exactly is Robert Sonian Translocation right now. This is not the time. But just remember, Robert Sonian Translocation accounts for 4% of the cases. And 1% of the cases, there is something called as mitotic non-disjunction, not meiotic, mitotic. Okay, mitotic non-disjunction. Okay, mitotic. During the mitosis, the chromosomes have to split. It's not getting splitted. Okay, so mitotic non-disjunction. So these are the three causes of the Down syndrome. Why there is trisomy 21? 95% of the cases is maternal disjunction, 4% of the cases is Robertsonian translocation, and 1% of the cases it's a mitotic non-disjunction. Now, if you look at the fellows who are having the Down syndrome, okay, these are the babies who are having the Down syndrome. Now, what do you see? See, first of all, the baby with a large tongue. Okay, this is called the macroglossia. Okay, most of the time, they these fellows with the uh, Down syndrome, they will be having a mongoloid faces. Okay, mongoloid facial features are going to be seen. Look, let's write. If you look at their hands, there will be one single line that's called as a palmar simian crease. One single line is going to be there. If you look at their eyes, you can see these spots which are called as a brush field spots that can be seen. If you look at their toes, it's a uh, saddle toe deformity. Okay, saddle toe deformity. So let's write one by one. Okay, so palpebral fissures, oblique palpebral fissures. Let's write on the clinical features. So, clinical features. So what are the clinical features that are seen? The first clinical feature is all the trisomies, remember this trisomies whatever I discuss, they are all mentally retarded. Okay, so mental retardation, okay there is mental retardation and Down syndrome is considered as the most common cause of mental retardation. Which chromosomal disorders can lead to mental retardation? The most common cause of mental retardation is Down syndrome sir actually. Okay, trisomy 21. So if you look at their face, there will be macroglossia, tongue, the tongue will be large and it is most of the time hanging out, macroglossia, eyes, what do you see in the eyes, brush field spots, brush field spots are going to be seen, okay, now in the hand there will be simian crease, okay, simian crease, palmar simian crease is going to be seen, 
नेक्स्ट ऑब्लिक पालपेब्रल फीचर्स ऑब्लिक पालपेब्रल फीचर्स ओके ऑब्लिक पालपेब्रल फीचर्स द पब्लिक पालपेब्रल फीचर्स आर गोइंग टू बी ऑब्लिक नाउ लुक एट देयर नोस देयर बी फ्लैट नेजल ब्रिज सैडल टो okay so these are the things what you can appreciate in a patient who is having down syndrome okay so mental retardation macroglossia brushfield spots palpebral sim increase oblique palpebral fissures flat nose saddle toe deformity all these things are going to be seen but if i talk about the complications so complication what does i mean by see what the problems are there what kind of problems are going to get in their life so complications are within less than 3 years they are at a risk of getting cancer they can develop a blood cancer which is called as a acute mega karyoblastic leukemia acute mega karyoblastic leukemia okay acute mega karyoblastic leukemia but after 5 years it's a different cancer after 5 years there is a risk of all okay acute lymphocytic leukemia okay so acute lymphocytic leukemia after 5 years but less than 3 years it's acute mega mega karyoblastic leukemia so by 40 years of age these fellows with the downs almost all okay almost all of them they will develop alzheimers okay that's a dementia alzheimers disease okay, they will develop the alzheimers dementia so cardiovascular abnormalities see these fellows with the down syndrome they will be having endocardial cushion defects endocardial cushion defects now gi related problems they will be by birth they will have this hirsprung disease hirsprung disease so hirsprung disease is also called as congenital megacolon where there is a failure okay congenital megacolon a ganglionic segment is there so in the for, for example there is a baby with a down syndrome in that baby in the colon especially in the recto sigmoid area that area do not have any nerve cells okay the ganglionic cells in the myentic plexus and mesenteric plexus are absent the nerve cells are not formed so that area will not contract as there is no contraction that's called as a aganglionic segment so that no contraction means no feces no melena sorry not melena sorry no the first feces uh, we say right that uh, passing of the meconium okay not melena it's a meconium the meconium is not going to be passed by the baby failure to pass the meconium because of the hirsprung disease because of the uh, ganglionic mega colon this is the one jd abnormality one more jd abnormality is going to be seen that's a duodenal atresia duodenal atresia so the duodenum is atrotic not formed there is a blunt ending duodenal atresia so whenever there is a duodenal atresia what happens a baby is going to do the vomiting whenever you try to feed the baby the baby is going to vomit okay the baby is going to vomit so that's the point which i want you know there will be projectile vomitings are going to be seen the bilious vomitings okay the vomiting which is mixed with the bile the bilious vomitings are going to be seen okay that's the point so how to put the diagnosis that this baby is having a down syndrome in utero not outside out outside you can just just judge by looking at their face you can say this baby is having a down syndrome so what are the screening tests for down syndrome in utero so screening tests screening tests the screening test the first test is called as a dual test okay, it's a dual test so dual test means what you are going to check for two levels it's a beta hcg as well as pap a okay so pap a so pa pp a so both these levels okay one beta like you know beta hcg level as well as the pap a levels one will go up and one will come down the pap a levels okay so pregnancy associated plasma protein a so pap a levels are going to come down and beta hcg levels are going to be elevated in dual test so whenever you see this you can suspect that this patient is having a down syndrome okay that's the one thing and second is the triple test triple test in triple test you are going to check for the beta hcg alpha fito protein and estriol okay you are going to check for the estriol so beta hcg is going to be elevated always beta hcg is elevated in the uh, in the down syndrome alpha fito protein will go down and estriol levels will go down 
okay so in triple test what are the three markers beta hcg alpha beta protein and estriol in dual test what are the two markers one is beta hcg as well as pape now in triple test you are going to, sorry in quadruple test triple test completed the third one is quadruple in quadruple test you are going to check for everywhere beta hcg is going to be there beta hcg same alpha fito protein next estriol in the mother okay all this in the mother maternal serum i am talking all this in the maternal serum so beta hcg is will go up alpha fito protein will come down estriol will come down the fourth marker this is mcq inhibin inhibin a levels are going to be elevated inhibin a levels are elevated beta hcg are elevated otherwise all other decreased okay beta hcg inhibin a levels are elevated all others are going to be decreased so there are three tests there are three screening tests one is the dual test triple test as well as quadruple test so with this test you can get to a confirmation or you can suspect that the baby is having uh, this disease that is nuchal trans sorry the baby is having down's syndrome now after this let's discuss the second chromosomal disorder second chromosomal disorder that's a patau syndrome so in patau syndrome what exactly it is it's also trisomy trisomy of what trisomy 13 which means three 13 chromosomes are there okay so not one not two not but three three 13 chromosomes are there so what are the clinical features sir for example there is a baby with a patau absolutely the baby is going to be mentally retarded no doubt all trisomies are mentally retarded okay all trisomy babies are mentally retarded so there will be first p for p patent these babies will have patent ductus arteriosus Okay, patent ductus arteriosus PDA, which is going to cause a machinery like murmur. Okay, continuous machinery like murmur. Patent ductus arteriosus is going to be seen. Second thing, if you look at their, take their hands and if you just look at their hands, they are going to have polydactyly. Okay, they are going to have the polydactyly, multiple fingers. Polydactyly is going to be seen. Next, look at their feet. Look at their feet. The feet is going to have, uh, I will show you the image also, that is called as a rocker bottom feet. rocker bottom feet so polydactyly patent ductus arteriosus and if you look at the uh, face the prominent feature that's going to be very much seen is cleft lip and palate okay cleft lip and palate and if you look into their eyes in down syndrome there is brush field spots but in this in their eyes there is a hole sir in the iris which is going to give a shape of a keyhole so here you can clearly see there is a hole which is looking like a keyhole okay so this is called as keyhole coloboma okay key hole coloboma okay so what you will see patent ductus arteriosus polydactyly rocker bottom feet cliff lip and palate keyhole coloboma okay these are the points which i want you to know the six points which i want you to know okay now look here this is a cliff lip and palate cleft especially here the cliff lip and palate is seen now there is polydactyly Keyhole coloboma. So this is Patau syndrome. Now after this, the next trisomy that I want to discuss here is Edward syndrome. Okay, Edward syndrome. So Edward, I used to remember Edward. So it is trisomy. It's also trisomy. Edward trisomy 18. So three 18 number chromosomes. Okay, 18, 18, 18. In one single cell, 3 18 number chromosomes are there. It's an extra 18 number chromosome, extra genes are there. So, whenever this patient is having Edwards syndrome, absolutely mentally retardation, there is no point to say it again. Okay, all trisomies are mentally retarded. These Edwards babies are also mentally retarded. If you look at their skull, the skull is going to show the shape of the strawberry. Okay, prominent, prominent occiput is going to be there. So, the skull is called as strawberry skull. Okay, strawberry skull is going to be seen. Now, small head, the total head circumference is going to be small. So, microcephaly. Okay. So, microcephaly is going to be seen. Prominent occiput, that, that because of that, it's a strawberry skull. So, prominent. So, why I am writing it again here is, these are the keywords. Prominent occiput. Okay. Now, if you uh, just do the ultrasonography, these patients are going to have the heart shaped kidneys. The kidneys are going to shape the, uh, show the heart shoe shape. Okay. Heart shoe shaped kidneys. 
horseshoe shaped kidneys so these fellows even this edward syndrome this edward syndrome babies are also going to show the rocker bottom feet okay rocker bottom feet i will show you the image don't worry and these patients are going to have the clenched hands okay So clenched hands, rocker bottom feet, horseshoe shaped kidneys, prominent occiput, multi, uh, sorry, microcephaly, pro, uh, strawberry like skull. Okay, so all these things are features of Edward syndrome. Now you look here, prominent occiput is just looking like strawberry. Okay, so strawberry skull. Now if you look, there is a rocker bottom feet, foot abnormalities. That's called as a rocker bottom feet with the just repeat with the clenched hands clenched fists are going to be seen right so this is a baby with the edward syndrome so edward syndrome important points the only important points i'm concentrating it's a rhizome 18 microcephaly prominent occiput rocker bottom feet horseshoe shaped kidneys clenched fists now in patav syndrome patav polydactyly palate palate related problems cleft clip and palate okay eyes uh, keyhole coloboma is going to be seen polydactyly uh, cleft lip and palate rocker bottom feet now, in Down syndrome, you know it, brush field spots, palmar simian crease, okay, mongoloid faces, oblique palpebral fissures are going to be seen, okay, saddle toe deformity, heat sprung disease, diurnal atresia, endocardial cushion defects, all these are the important points about the Down syndrome. So, with this, we have completed the chromosomal disorders, the three trisomies, the chromosomal disorders we have completed in the next video, we will be discussing about uh, Turner syndrome as well as a Kleinefelter syndrome where the problem is with the sex chromosomes. Now I have discussed about the autosomes, trisomies, trisomy 13 problem, 21, uh, 18 problem, right? These are the autosomes, like no, autosomal chromosomes, right? Now I am going to discuss about the sex chromosomes in the next video. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you.